After losing all of my brain cells trying to understand each and every angle of the movie, my skeptic mind got crowded with some questions. The girl who's playing with you, she must be sad, and her thoughts and feelings and humanness are interfering with your dullness. If there had been 100 Barbie owners with 100 kinds of mental illness, was there any chance that the representing Barbie could also have the combined mental state of those 100 people? Did any of these drawings by chance have thoughts of death and cellulite? Yes! The Barbie started having thoughts of deaths when the owner had some thoughts of deaths. Will the Barbie commit suicide if the owner feels the same way? Will the representing Barbie die if even one of her dolls is shredded, broken and burnt into ashes in the actual world? Will the representing Barbie lose her body parts if even one of her dolls get dismantled of their body parts in the actual world? Okay kids, it's time to run out and get the new depression Barbie. She wears sweatpants all day and night. If a newly designed Barbie doll gets introduced in the real world, how does the representing Barbie doll spawn in the Barbie land? Like, do they just fall into the Barbie land directly from the sky? I saved up my allowance to buy it. I've never seen a car like that before. How the fuck or not? Ken managed to take the Hummer to the Barbie land. Did the Hummer cross the snow like a snowmobile, cross the ocean like a speedboat, and flew like a rocket in the space? Like, what the fuck? Maybe. <laughs> because Barbie land is now Ken land. Also, did you buy all the stuff from the real world or did you just steal them? If you bought all of the stuff, who gave him the money? Like the Mattel CEO gave him the money? Ken isn't something we're worried about. That's Sugar Daddy Ken. And you're in Magic Ken. Mattel discontinued them. Sugar Daddy? No, 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 no. I'm not a Sugar Daddy. The Sugar Daddy Ken was discontinued, which used to be the actual Ken's. What was the reason behind that? Was that because Sugar Daddy Ken would not let the little girls develop a feminist mindset since their childhood? If the Barbies and Kens do not need to drink, eat, release themselves in the bathroom, or even take a shower, why do they have to get some sleep every single night? You most the way to the state of Los Angeles, where you will don neon and rollerblades and enter the country of California. I'm just wondering, what if the owner of that Barbie doll was not living in Los Angeles but in North Korea or even Afghanistan? Would Barbie move over there to fix the problem? Look at the box and you can get to see so many kinds of weird Barbies. But there was only one design of weird Barbie inside the Barbie land. Does it mean that this weird Barbie was representing all kinds of weird Barbies around the world? Get into the box and you'll go back to Barbie land and everything will be as it was. If the CEO of Mattel could solve the problem of the Barbie, why did he not interfere from the very beginning instead of letting Barbie come to the real world and face trouble? Or is there any way the man was lying to the Barbie trying to put her inside the box and later discontinue her upon getting delivered to the Barbie land? Maybe this white Barbie was previously the representative of the Proustian Barbies but got discontinued by Mattel? I'm having a real Proustian flashback. <laughs> Remember Proust Barbie? That did not sell very well. <laughs> if that is true, can we say that this time Barbie could also get discontinued again if she would get into the box? Podcast hosted by two wise trees or a choir of 2,000 young fathers. I could not comprehend a single shit they said. Do you guys have any explanation for this? Try it. Mojo Dojo Mojo Dojo Casa House. <laughs> Mojo Dojo Casa houses are literally flying off the shelves. The kids are clamoring for them. Just in a matter of a day of Ken moving back to the Barbie land, the Mojo Dojo Casa house merchandise was ready to be sold. How the hell on earth those people managed to produce so many products just in a matter of a single day? The fuck was this? After all, I wanna ask you all a simple question. Do you have any idea on exactly how this cringe movie was able to make over a billion dollars in the box office despite the release of Mission Impossible? Seven and Oppenheimer. I'm just anywhere else I be Is it my